was such a beautiful day in the town of Sunray. The birds were singing and the wind chimes were gently ringing. The flowers smelled so fresh and sweet, they smelled almost good enough to eat. Algernon and Phil were sitting on a tall grassy hill, looking out over a cool blue lake. Phil said, Boy, I wish I had a slice of chocolate cake. Algernon asked, You do? I was just thinking the same thing too. Do you know what I also wish? I wish we had hot dogs and corn on the cob. Now that's a tasty dish. Phil said, That certainly does sound tasty too. Can you imagine it with some of my mum's homemade stew? You know, that gives me an idea, Algernon said. Rather than eating lunch at home, what if we had a picnic instead? Algernon, Phil replied, that's one of your best ideas yet. My mum is sure to say yes, I bet. Algernon agreed. It's a beautiful day for it too. We'll invite all our friends and then we'll have quite a crew. How many will it be? Hmm, now let me see. There is Phil and me and Steve and Melissa, Robert and Peggy. Oops, we can't forget about Kevin. Now, that makes seven. We will have the picnic right here in this beautiful spot. We could even swim in the lake should we get hot. There will be a great time to be had by all. Listen Phil, you bring your bat and I'll bring my ball. There will be lots and lots of games to play. Hurry, let's make the plans right away. Phil invited Robert and the others, while Algernon invited all their mothers. Steve said, I know what I'll bring. Giant cherry flavoured gelatin, shaped like a ring. Melissa brought our most favourite of all, sandwiches made with jelly. Robert's mother brought hot dogs that she brought from the deli. Peggy brought some corn on the cob. Oh my goodness, Algernon exclaimed. There's enough food here to feed a mob. Kevin, Phil and Algernon all brought a dessert. There was cake, fruit and even some delicious pie. What a treat this is, Algernon thought, to be able to eat outside under the big blue sky. 